This is what I need. This is what fuels my soul. I need to put chapstick on or something. These lips, drier than the Sahara. Like, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Mackenzie. And for today's video, I'm doing a get ready with me for my first night out in like two months. I haven't been there since the beginning of December. My brother-in-law is having a show tonight at our hometown bar, so I'm going. And I'm meeting a lot of my friends and it's gonna be a very fun night. So I wanna do a little get ready with me and then at the end of the video, I'll probably put some vlog clips. I'm not gonna vlog too much, but I kinda wanna get a little bit of footage at the end of this video. We have a new member of the um, of the group today. She appeared in my last video too. She just hasn't gone away yet, she hasn't gone home. But we're welcoming her with open arms. Some of this obviously is gonna be sped up because I'm gonna jam out to some music. I will show you guys how I wanna do my hair at the end because I don't know if I want it up or if I want it down curls. I just always do that. First, we are gonna go in with the Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. And I really just focus this right here and in my T-zone, so right here and right here. I'm gonna also use the Maybelline's Master Prime Primer Base. This is the, there's different ones. This is the Blur and Smooth. There's a little bit of a jungle going on around my eyebrows, so we're also gonna take a weed whacker. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're gonna take a little eyebrow razor and fix those puppies up and chop, chop. I almost just slipped. This little thing, imagine I had to go out tonight with a one eyebrow. I'll be back with you guys when my eyebrows are whacked and ready. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. We need to get right on into the makeup. It is five o'clock right now. I think I'm gonna leave around six. 15 because of the snow. I gotta make sure that I'm there at a good time. My friends are getting there around like 7 15. Okay, let me think because sometimes when I'm talking, then I start putting things on my face that shouldn't go on my face yet. I'm definitely gonna do the Hollywood Flawless Filter because I just think that that is, you know, a great choice for tonight. We need to find a way to cover up this bad boy. I'm gonna take a little, like a tiny bit of Tarte Shape Tape, like the tiniest bit. And it's more of the color of my skin tone. <laughs> it's like totally not, it's like way tanner. But it'll hide the zit well because it's kind of like that same color. I'm gonna take this foundation brush. Just like this. That did something. And with the foundation on, I think it'll be good. So we're gonna do this, but we can't only do this because it's more of a illuminator um, and then it needs like something over it. I think I should use these two. So I'm gonna do the Hollywood Flawless Filter and then, that is the garage opening by the way, um, and then on top, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Color Pop. So I'm going to put this more as a like illuminating primer. few pumps of this and I'm just gonna go like that so I also am using the best brush I've ever gotten in my life it is the it cosmetics heavenly complexion perfection brush so a lot of um, youtubers and makeup artists use this brush it's like very pricey but I had a gift card and also I was like you know what if like these professionals are using it it's probably really good and it actually is so good it blends so smoothly it blurs like everything out and i don't know if it's just a placebo effect because it's new that i'm like it's the best brush ever because i'm pretty sure i've said that about you know my other brushes but i really don't think so I wanted to do eyeshadow tonight, I thought. I don't like to do my foundation before eyeshadow. You know what? It's just gonna have to do. I'm just gonna do the eyeshadow while the foundation is um, cooking in. <laughs> cooking in. I'm going to set my eyes with some ColourPop concealer. I think my grandpa's wiping off my car. This is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna set my eyes with some translucent powder. Shining 
I put my concealer on, now I'm gonna set it with the translucent powder. I wanna do my contour. And I'm just taking the Nude Sticks in the color Bondi Bay, yeah. I'm gonna do one of these. I don't ever do this. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. Now I'm going to define this contour. We're just gonna take some of this color, hot blush, and I really just follow where I put the contour. I just kind of put it over it. We're just gonna take the NYX eyebrow glue and make sure these things don't move. I'm gonna put the colors that I have in my eyes for eyeshadow on the waterline and kind of connect it so it's all seamless and pretty. I'll be back. I know what the girl oh, that's my alarm. I have an alarm to remind me to do a TikTok. Oh God, oh God, what did I do? To do this TikTok transformation. But I put this transformation powder, Dragon Beauty, after I put the inner corner highlight because it kind of just like, you know, makes everything nice. This transformation powder, seriously, like is everything. I have to do my lips, which is my favorite part. My lipstick combo, which is the Maybelline Color Stay Crayon first. Like that's good, like it's just something to give a little color. And then I go and take this uh, Revlon in the shade Champagne on Ice over top. And this, whoa, and this was Trust Your Gut, this on top, which is the Fenty Beauty Gloss. But I'm not gonna put that on until I put on my outfit. Okay, so this is the outfit that I'm going with. And I am wearing these boots that I showed in my other video. So these would be cute. Be like this. Let me put these on and then I'll show you. So I have the shoes on. Cute little boots. Should I put my hair up? I feel like I should. I also put in these hoop earrings that are really cute. I feel like my hair should go up. I'm not feeling the hair down actually. Okay. The hair up was 100% the right choice. I'm so glad that I did that. This piece is a little longer than I would want it, but honestly, like, yes. But I'm so excited about this outfit. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do the last part of the transformation of my TikTok. Also, for the get ready portion of this video. I will vlog a little bit of my time there. So I will see you guys at the place.